Anybody else on part six yet? <laughs> Alright, so another thing we do sometimes is a lot of times we'll do something that's going to be rectangular. We want it to be centered on something. So we want it centered on the axis so we can mirror later on. So I'll draw a rectangle. How can I constrain that so it's going to stay centered all the time? What would be the best way to constrain that? Can you constrain it to the center point? To the yeah. board? Constrain what to it? The lines, the top lines and the right lines, yeah. Yeah, I could do that uh, depending on how, if I knew I wanted it just to be centered this way, I could say the midpoint there, right? Yeah. Right. Pick. Is that kind of what you're saying? I could say midpoint. Well, you could do all the lines to it, couldn't you? Yeah, I could draw lines, and that's that's what I do. What I do is I like to draw a line here to the midpoint, uh -huh. from there to the midpoint, and then it's just a matter of making those two. Oh, actually, look at that. You see what's different on that? Yeah. Why is that one thicker? No. Oh, why? Is why is this line thicker, and that one's thicker, and that one's thin? I don't know. So SolidWorks wants to have one continuous line all the way around for your profile. This is telling you that those two are messy. It doesn't know what to do. And it's like, I'm, I'm confused here. Do you want it to go this way, or do you want it to go that way? So anytime you see a line that's thin, it means that you've got Something that's not, that's not it's not one continuous profile all around. And so I'm just gonna take those and make them construction lines, right? Center lines. Yeah. Or yeah it's construction. It puts a center line type on it, um, just because there's it does no different. It doesn't actually like in Inventor, a center line and construction line are two different things. Here it's a construction line, but it just shows you as a center line, just so that it's not just a different than width, but you have a different line width. Okay. I think it's better than doing it as a, a hidden line or something. And now you just pick these two lines perpendicular. There's two lines there. Uh, that might have been why this one was thick. And, and than that one because it went back one way, one way and the other way. It had, it had two lines, and so it was a closed profile even though they were on top of each other and would have caused problems later on. So now I can say perpendicular. And now when I move this, it's going to stay centered. So I do that a lot of the time. If I have something that's going to be symmetric, I'll do that. Questions? So, um, let's do some some part. Actually, let's do a break first. Uh, let's do a ten minute break, and then we'll come back and we'll work. I'll let you guys work on this part. So we're gonna do this as two different sketches. First, we're gonna do the outside as one sketch, and then you'll do another sketch for this one.